Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to the marketplace. Coming up, marginal drop in food prices in August pushes inflation downward to 10.5%. Registry General introduces new reforms in business registration and the New Companies Act. And creative arts and media to receive much attention from additional 150 million city stimulus package from government. Thanks for being with us. Details after the break. A marginal drop in food prices during the month of August has pushed inflation downward to 10.5%. The decline was 0.4% from the previous month's figure of 11.4%. Explaining the rationale behind the decline, government statistician Samuel Kobnainim said the current rate of inflation is influenced mainly by the drop in food prices in the greater Accra region. From the month of March and April 2020, where we saw spikes in food inflation, we have consistently seen year-on-year -year food inflation recording a downward trend from the peak of 15.1% up to the current food inflation of 11.4%. In contrast, non-food inflation has consistently, though marginally, increased from 7.4% to 9.9%. So we see on a year-on-year -year basis, food and non-food inflation moving in opposite directions. Also, we do the same analysis for a month-on-month -month inflation, comparing food and non-food inflation. Consistently, in the last three months, we see a decline for a month-on-month -month inflation for both food and non-food inflation going downwards, with non-food inflation going downwards from 1.8% with the current to the current 0.2% for the month of August 2020, and food inflation also going down from 0.1% with the current deflation of 1.1%. And also over the past three months, we see non-food inflation consistently dominating food inflation over the past three months. We focus on the region with the highest inflation figure, which is the Greater Accra region, and try to look at the dominant factors that are driving inflation in the Greater Accra region. We do this from a year-on-year -year basis for overall inflation and do the same for year-on-year -year inflation strictly from the perspective of food inflation. And we observe that housing, water, electricity, and gas drive the year-on-year -year inflation within Greater Accra, followed by transport, recreation, and sports. And from a food perspective, for Greater Accra region, we see tea, fish, and other seafood, and vegetables being the three dominant um, factors that are driving food inflation in Greater Accra region. By way, by way of highlights, Year-on-year year inflation for the month of August 2019 to the month of August 2020 was 10.5%. This indicates a slowdown in the rate of inflation between year-on-year year July 2020 figure of 11.4 and the August figure of 10.5%. My name government had a decision addressing the, uh, press, the press a while ago on the latest inflation rate. Now, by the 28th of this month, a new system of registering businesses will be in place. The Registry General, Jemima Ware, is introducing reforms under the New Companies Act, which gives new processes and procedures for registering a company. Mrs. Oware says this will promote efforts by government to improve ease of doing business in Ghana. She has been speaking to Joy Business about the reforms. We have now gotten the developers to upgrade e-registrar in compliance with Act 992. And there are quite a number of changes that I have to make known to the general public and my clients, because we are envisaging between the 21st of September 2020 to the 28th of September 2020. Between that period, we'll come out with that final date, but we're envisaging that the new system is going to be in place latest by the 28th of September 2020. What that means is that when you are coming to our office, you will not need to bring regulations anymore. You will not need to complete a Form 3 and a Form 4. We have developed a new form, prescribed new form in compliance with Act 992. And we've put that on our website, www 
rgd.gov.gh. This form encompasses every requirement that you would have put on the regulations, the Form 3 and the Form 4. So you not um, once you download these forms, of course you need to fill the name of your company as you would have in the regulations in the Form 3. You need to provide us with a sector within which you'd be operating in. Now, creative arts and the media will receive some attention in the coming days from the disbursement of the 150 million CD package announced by the finance minister uh, regarding the coronavirus business alleviation program. That's according to the executive director of the National Board for Small Scale Industries, the agency mandated to administer the funds, Kosi Yankee Ai. Now, Mrs. Yankee Ai said, although all sectors of the economy will be receiving the support, there is the need to pay critical attention to these sectors since they have been the hardest hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Launched by President Takofuado to support micro, medium and small businesses that have been negatively affected by the outbreak of the coronavirus in the country with a seed fund of 1 billion CDs from both government and participating bank. Finance Minister Ken Oforiata during the mid-year budget presentation announced an allocation of an additional 150 million CDs. In an interview with Joy Business, the Executive Director of the National Board for Small Scale Industries, Kosi Yanki Aye, hinted that much attention will be given to the creative arts, media and tourism sectors. Various sectors have been earmarked for the additional financing. First of all, the financing is for all, all the sectors that have been impacted by COVID-19. Specific sectors that we also have to pay attention to is education, the media and the creative arts and tourism sector due to the direct impact on the businesses due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So we're working to ensure that the beneficiaries get the funding. It's important to note that when we opened the portals in May, a lot of the sectors actually applied. So majority of the beneficiaries are already on the platform. And we'll work with those in the specialized group to see how best we can provide support to them as well. She has been rejecting claims by some private teacher organizations that it is charging some 4% on the facility for members. To date, 2,192 educational institutions have applied for access to finance. It has come to our notice that NACOPS is charging 4% to their clients and asking that 3% will be sent later to the National Board for Small Scale Industries. I want to state emphatically and categorically that the National Board for Small Scale Industries has not agreed, contracted or asked any institution, any association to receive any funds on behalf of NBSSI, the board that was set up and mandated to strengthen and grow micro, small and medium enterprises. If anyone is being asked to make such a payment, they can report to the nearest police station or to the national security to alert them of this. As of the end of the first week of September, more than 150,000 applicants have received their funds from the program. You're watching the marketplace. Ghana's tourism sector has for a long time been dependent on foreign tourists. Now, in 2019 alone, the country raked in about $3 billion in revenue from the year of return program. Things changed when COVID-19 hit. The pandemic has caused authorities to rethink the potential of domestic tourism. And in this special report, the Joy Business team sets out to experience the magic of domestic tourism at Ada. Charles Aite reports. The only way Ghana's tourism sector can rebound is when citizens adapt a keen interest in patronizing tourist sites. There is no denying the fact that Ghana is blessed with some of the most incredible sites in the world, from the adventures of the Kakum National Park to the serenity of the Volta River. In this edition of AM Business, the Joy Business team set out to explore and experience the breeze of Adafua. That is it. The 
Venice is a town in the southeastern coast of Ghana where the Volta River meets the Atlantic Ocean. This breezy and calm tourist site is known for palm lined beaches and estuary islands. This is the heartbeat of the economy of Adam. Though the coronavirus has disrupted revenue streams, the tourist attraction site seems still and steady. It has not only attracted tourists, but also created a value chain from the hospitality sector to the fishery sector. So all this place where we are, this line, is very deep. Very, 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 very deep. Yes, please. Up, up to like 30 feet. 30? Yeah, 30 and 40 and above. It depends how the water will be, because the only thing that is, the sea water enters into this river water for 12 hours. Oh. And another 12 hours, this river water also enters the ocean for 12 hours. That's low and high tide. Yeah, that is, it causes high tide and low tide. High tide and low tide. So high tide means the, the ocean is pushing the water. Yes, the that is causing high tide. And sometimes it is salty, and sometimes it's tasty. That it is, it is very easy to lay that soup. Salinity. Yes, please. So this is also another private houses that we have here. So now this is Adam for Charlotte. Adam what? Adam for Charlotte. For Charlotte. Adam for, Adam for, yes, Adam for, that's F-O-A-H, for. This house, this yellow one, it belongs to an Italian. His name is uh, Mr. Eriko, but his company name is Testimony. Yes, please, Testimony. All these jet skis and the boats belong to him. That is his private home. So they will, no, that is his mechanic. He's not yet arrived. Yeah, he will arrive very soon. So he, he's a friend to Ibrahim. He's very close friend to Ibrahim Mahama. Yeah, they all share their business together. So they all come here to just have their fans and enjoyment and everything. So this man, he always come here every weekend. And and where the boats are, and where the boats are, he has an island over there. That I will show you. He, yes, please. He bought the island by himself. How much does it cost to move that? The island. That is 50,000 Ghana cities. For one, one plot. Yes, please. 50,000. A, a plot. One plot. One plot. And this. People who want more island like this holiday. Yes. But the biggest island in Adam is 22 acres. And the rest of the people just. And this is also another restaurant or a hotel, Charlie Coffee. Antonio Party, okay. Yes. Charlie Coffee. Charlie Yeah, Charlie Coffee. Antonio Party. Yes, yes. So, when you catch the fish here, you eat the fish, right? Yes, please. Yeah. We have fish like barracuda, tilapia, red tail, red, uh, yellow tail, and orange fish. We have different kinds of fish. That is this very one. And, and textures. Yeah, thanks, yeah. And this is sailing club. This is a place that all the foreigners, they all come here for their party cars of the sailing boats. Before they come back, they go back to their hometown for competitions. Yes, please. So they move here, they come here for their party cars, they move here by, by their sailing boats to Sudan Kope. So when they are going to Sudan Kope, they, they take this direction where we are coming from. And when they are coming back again, the following day on Sunday, they take different direction. We just surround the island, the big islands, and they come here. Come again. Yeah, because this place, no tax. They don't pay any tax. Yes, please. It's very free. And this is the car park of Treasure Island. Yeah, yes, please. Yes, please. That's the island of Treasure Island. Yes, please. But he has a beautiful island over there. <laughs> yeah, most of them are born in Ghana. So they, they like they like Ghana. They are Ghanaians, yeah. Let me say they are Ghanaians, that's all. <laughs> but this one also belongs to a Ghanaian pilot. This very house. This one, yes please. This yellow house. And this is also another small fishing community. Yes. Yeah, all this place is Adam for. Yes, please. This is the first hotel we had in Ada. The first one, the first hotel, Manage Paradise. Yes. 
this is a hotel. It, but now it's not functioning anymore. Why? They are, they are under renovation. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Like if it weren't be the COVID-19, like they would have opened it during Easter time. Yeah, but because of the COVID, they, do, they couldn't open it. I'm live from like a killer. So, likewise, I told you from the beginning, this is the main fishing like uh, island, uh, sorry, the fishing community that we have. So these people, they are between the river and the sea. Yes, please. Between the river and the sea? Yeah, they are, they are between the river and the sea. From here to the sea to the seaside, it's not far. It's about two to three minutes walk today. So this is what we call it as between. Yeah, between. Yes, yes. It doesn't affect them. Yes, please. The reason why that it doesn't affect them is because the, the the water is not a still water, but it moves. So as soon as it rains heavily, all the waters enter to this river and just move it to the ocean. Yeah, they're between. Yes, uh, these guys, is it true that they drink water from the river? Oh, yes, please, they drink yeah. it. They drink it. Even myself, I've, I've been drinking it. We don't, we don't sanitize. No, uh, no, we don't. Just drink it straight. Because at first, I was a fisherman. Yes, please, I've been fishing. During the midnight. Oh, I stopped, I was, since, since I, I ever had this boat. Yes, please. Yeah. So, yes, please. No, because of this this job, that's why. Yes, yes, please. But now also the fish are also yeah. practicing their family planning. So you catch <laughs> oh, for it is sometimes like 20 Ghana cities or 30 Ghana cities. Indeed. Yes, please. But now, but now. But now. <laughs> oh, yes, a single day. Yes, a day. Yeah, yes, a day. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. I need to make an account for no, not for myself. Yes, yes please. Yeah. Oh, sometimes he gives like 500 and 400. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. No, no, no. Per month. Yes, please. If I get five, yes. <laughs> so this how long, how long have you Oh about three years, but I did it small, 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 small. Not only this one, but I have experience of another boat. Oh no. I, oh, okay, definitely all the money that I had, I used to take care of my my twin brother in university. Our check showed that close to 500,000 local tourists made it to Adafoa. This is against the 100,000 margin experienced in 2019. Hotels and tourist sites have had to beat down competition to stay in business. A weekend stay at any of these hotels has been slashed by half the original price. This has attracted more domestic revelers. It means more cash for hotel managers like Osborne. He is the general manager of Peace Holiday Resort. To begin with, uh, Charles, we have had to rely on local tourism. Um, the locals have been supporting us. Um, people have been taking breaks to come to Ada over the weekends, no, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. So we've always been busy over weekends, even during the COVID-19 uh, period. So we... God has always been on our side, you know, so we, 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 we're not complaining much. Mm. So it didn't really bite you hard, right? It didn't bite us hard. We, we, we had strategies to ensure that people come from Accra over weekends, you know, um, with the pollution and everything in Accra. I think people needed the breather this side. Mm. So domestic tourism is also doing the magic for you guys? It's still doing the magic for us, even before we open our borders. Mm. We, we rely more on, the lo on, on, on domestic uh, tourism. The Joy Business team was hosted at the Peace Holiday Resort where COVID-19 protocols have all been firmed up. I was curious to find out how much revenue Osborne has made, especially when he was very pleased with domestic activity. We cannot always rely on uh, foreigners, so we have to rely on our own people. So the economy of Ada has, has been boosted by local tourism. We, we, 
during this time it was very dry and if we had waited for, for, for international tourism we would have gotten nothing but there's been a lot of activity in Ada. Um, amongst the three big hotels in Ada, we employ more than 400 people so COVID-19 has, has had an impact. Already there is a scramble for the Palm Line beaches and estuary islands of Adafoa. Real estate companies are racing to build apartments to suit the economy here. This has shot up the price of Estuary Island. A plot of Estuary Island goes as much as 100,000 cities. Just a plot. Ghana's spectacular and scenic tourist attractions add to the grandiosity of an industry fast becoming a major pillar of the economy. But while statistics have shown that foreign tourists have helped boost the sector, the coronavirus pandemic has also given the clearest indication that citizens can also situate tourism in a much higher pedestal. For Joy Business, I'm Charles Ayat. Well, that looks like some fun. We we'll still stay with the subject and uh, of tourism, and the Ghana Tourism Federation is calling for the promotion of domestic tourism and intra-tourism activities among um, African countries. Executive Secretary Emmanuel Frimpon tells Joy Business's outfit is putting measures in place to put local tourism on the global map things that uh, COVID-19 has done, which is good, is that it has exposed us that we cannot continue to rely on international tourism, or as, as, as we call it, um, uh, the, the international uh, community always visiting our country. What we need to do is to focus more on domestic tourism and intra-Africa tourism. And that is what the ministry, the GTA, and then GATOF is, is promoting. As a matter of fact, our last visit to the president is one of the things that we put before the president. And GTA uh, is, there are a number of things that we are all doing. So let me talk about what GTA is doing, and then I'll mention what GATOF is doing. Uh, just a few weeks ago, GTA launched um, Ghana Guru's uh, project, which is to promote domestic tourism, get people to go online and look at what we have in the country, and they'll be asked questions. When they get the questions correct, they'll be given a certificate just to encourage people to visit our attraction site. There is also this project that GTA is working on, where Ghana, East Ghana, see Ghana, and feel Ghana which they are putting quite a number of measures in place to uh, promote it. It's all geared towards promoting domestic tourism. From the Gatov point of view, uh, we are also doing a number of things. As a matter of fact, we signed an MOU with um, GEK Communications, Media Communications, to bring a project that has to do with Adventure Ghana. Adventure Ghana is to promote all the 16 regions what we have as tourism attraction sites. So probably next month or so, it will start. We will have it in one of the um, um, TV stations where we'll be going from one region to another to promote domestic tourism. And you're watching the marketplace. We're taking a short break. We'll be right back. Yo, welcome back to the marketplace. Our last story takes us to the Volta region where Kinti weavers at Agotime Petoy say they are gradually losing interest in the trade as they are unable to make sales. As you can imagine, it's got to do with the impact of COVID-19. So some of the artisans have been speaking with Joy Business. The only days the business was going on well and uh, we were very much enjoying it. But uh, due to this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, everything has stopped. And uh, no more funerals, no more festivals and uh, weddings. celebration weddings. So can people buy to use. Uh, so since there is no celebration and all those things, they, they are no more interested in buying it again. Uh, so that not the way we are finding the business difficult. So, in, in this case, if you're not finding business and you are still weaving, uh, are you not incurring costs? Yeah, we are incurring costs, but just that people are no more uh, showing, interest. showing interest in it. Okay. So the the, the, uh, the production is coming down. Mm. So we are no we are no more interested in uh, 
leaving the Kente anymore. We are feeling lazy to do it because sometimes... I understand that is the main job for you, the youth in this community. Yeah, this is our main job for the youth, for, uh, for the, this community. Mm -hmm. Either we, we, we use... You do this job to attend school mm. to some level. But, or but, okay, how much do you sell a piece of cloth that is the complete set for a woman? I know it's depending on design and everything, but yeah, it depends on the design. And uh, we are the factory people, so we sell at the factory price. Which is how much? So, which is uh, some of the design, like this one, the complete female one. It will cost like eight hundred. Eight hundred is the complete. The complete for one. A female. Yeah, for female. So for a male. For a male. 1200 okay. for the factory price there are some are even less than that you can get less than 500 I this is the quality one i can even feel the texture yes. it's very thick heavy but there are other adulterated fabrics that are normally being imported into the country now that the airports and borders have been closed uh, at least you guys should now be able to do production increase your production for people locally to buy or your clients are more of people from outside? Yeah, not really. That our clients are more from outside, but uh, they are no more important, all those things. But still, the problem is that there is no, uh, the community, the community too, they are no more wearing and all those things. So they are no more showing interest of buying the Kente. And that's the marketplace.